Hello, Janie. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Good. I saw your website. I was very impressed. Teacher, what does impressed mean? Impressed? What does it I I was very proud surprised? of you. Does it mean surprise? You? You do what? Does it mean surprised? No, it means it means proud means I was happy for you. Alright? I was happy for you. I saw your website. Remember last time you gave me your website? Yep. Tisha and uh where did you come from? You do what? Where do you come from? I come from the United States. Mickey Mouse? Yes, Mickey and, Mouse. Uh, and uh, you have you have seen birds, right? I have what? You have seen birds, right? I've seen birds, yes. A bald eagle. <laughs> Okay, do you remember me, do you remember telling me to watch your YouTube? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did. I did. I was very impressed. I was very happy for you. That was awesome. Well, we are going really to talk about stress management for the younger generation. A practical guide for teens. Yes, stress management. You're not a teen yet, but you could do. You could always do stress management. Well, if are, I have some you, teacher, uh, if I have some stress at home, I will cry. You cry? Well, yeah, that because you're eight. Are you eight? How yep. old are you? I'm eight. Tell me what. You're eight. That's why all of us cry when we have a little stress, okay? So it's not, that's okay, all right? What do you think this means? Oh no, uh, I can't deal, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it means stress. Yes, okay, let's go ahead and see if you know what this word means. Do you know what that word means? Yes. Academic, relating to education. Oh Have Good been. Job. And what about well, teacher, this? I need to make a sentence with academic. Or well, I need to say. Okay. The teacher is you famous for talking about academic fields. The teacher is famous, is famous for talking about. For Talking. Talking ab about academic fields. About the Acti okay, academic. Let's put, let's put different academic fields. About different all right. academic fields. All right. Good. Adaption. Good job. That was really good. Okay. Adaption. Okay. The process the of changing something to make it suitable for a new situation. I have right. a bad adaption at my school. Okay, I have to Wait. make adaption. Teacher, know this. I have a bad adaption at school. Okay, try not, not have to, to try not to talk so loud, okay? Because I'm not hearing every word. Not okay? have to. I have, I to have a. I had a bad adaption at school. I had a bad adaption. Not I have two. I had a bad adaption. Why did you say I have two? Cross on the I have two. Don't use the I have two. I don't need the I have two. I have bad. So I have bad what did you write the word? Can we write? Tell me how. Tell me what word is next. Can you write it for me? Oh, 
Okay. All right, that's what I thought you said. Okay. All right. Okay, how about the next word? Good job. Significant. Large enough to be noticeable or have noticeable effects. All right, having let's a, go ahead. Having a tutor junior session is significant for me. Okay, what was the first part? Something significant for me. I have a... Part? Having a tutor junior session is significant for me. Having a... Tutor junior. Tutor junior. Tutor junior. Having, having tutor junior is having significant tutor junior sessions. for me. Good. Sh sessions. Sessions. Not having to the junior sessions. Not to the junior. Having to the junior sessions. Having to the. I know. I heard you. Having. Having tutors. Tutor junior sessions. All right. Is that what you said? Sessions. Not C. Sessions. All right. Sessions like this. Uh huh. I know. Uh huh. I know. S E S I O N sessions is significant for me, right? Significant. Significant. Okay. You need an N T. You need an N T. For me, yes. Okay. All right. Good Teacher, job. let me All ask right. you a question. Do you feel that this time? Like, Teacher, Say. let me ask you a question. Does it? Does this feel? Does it looks like I'm teaching you? Does it look like no? Because I was gonna write that, but you corrected me. So no, no, I'm good. Well, I no. see you not talk okay. in okay. academic phrases. Uh, you said, "Jenny, you are teaching me." <laughs> yes, I did say that. <laughs> so, okay, I have a I. <laughs> I have a question for you. Where did you learn to talk so good? Well, where did you learn to talk so good? Well, my dad teach me. <laughs> Your dad. That's right. Your dad teach taught. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you. Your dad taught you. My dad taught me. All right. Okay. My dad taught me. Not my dad teach me. <laughs> Teach, taught, taught, right? Does it mean teach, my taught, dad, I, taught? Uh huh. But we just you just use it differently. All right. I will teach you how to speak better English. My dad taught me how to speak English. All right. My That's the difference. Teacher. All right. I'm teaching. You're teaching. Dad taught. Okay. Teacher. Teacher. All right. Why did you? Say you are teaching me, Jenny, in the first tutor junior session in academic phrases. I I did, and you and you taught me. All right, you taught me, not you teach me. You taught <laughs> me. All right, not not you teach me. Okay. Teacher, okay. I, I got a new haircut. I got a new haircut. I teach. You do. You love my hair. What color is it? Well, it's black. Okay, what color? Black. Okay. All right. Do you Let's often go feel ahead and stress? If so, what do you think causes you the most stress? Yes. What do you think causes the most stress? I am. I feel stress often. If my classmates send something. Bad about me. Why would they say something bad about they you? They would say, ah, "You are a stupid Jenny." Why would they say that? Because you're far from stupid. Well, I'm not so stupid. 
No, you're not stupid at all. Alright. I know how to spell it. Classmates. Classmate. Yes. If my classmates say something. Okay. Well, let's hope they don't say too much. That's not nice, right? Well, I hope they don't say something it's not, bad. It's not good. No, it's not good. All right. Let's go to the next page. You're doing excellent. All right. I'm gonna yes. keep you started. Yay! Good Yay. Job. Okay, Janie. Good job. Good job. All right. Okay, so let's read about case, this case. It's called a case study. 17-year-old right. Susan right. is juggling many roles. She has a demanding part-time job, plays two sports, and studies for the final exams. Furthermore, she has to decide where to go to college and how to pay for it. She also has a term paper and an internet project due this week and needs to find a date for an upcoming dinner dance. <laughs> All right. She's very busy, isn't she? Yep. All right. Do you understand? Okay. She works part-time, so she has a part-time job. She plays two sports. What are sports? Do you know what sports are? Yes. Badminton and ping pong are sports. Okay. Yes, and she has to go to college. What grade are you in, Janie? What grade Second are you? Second grade. What grade? Second, Second grade. grade. Grade three? Not grade Second three. grade, okay. Teacher, what does a grade right, mean? Good. What does a grade mean, teacher? Grade, what does grade mean? It means level. All right. So I am not grade. I am not third grade. I am not third grade. Third grade. I am second grade. Okay, I gotcha. All right. So grade means um, let's see, like kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, sixth, seventh, eighth. 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. We call them grades, all right? Or we call them we call them elementary or grammar school, all right? We use two different things. Elementary, let me do this. Teacher. Well, element. Well, when I when I grow up, I will be a big big sister. Well, I will be like third grade, fifth grade, sixth Grade. Those are for middle grades. You want to be, oh yeah, there's middle, middle grade, middle, and a higher call grades. It middle school. And high grades. Uh huh. And high school. High school. And the college. That's what we call it. Okay? That's in the United States. I don't know what they call it where you live, okay? What does a dinner dance it, mean? What do they, what is what? Dinner dance. Dinner dance? Um, it's a dance with dinner. A dance that serves dinner. So we need to eat okay. dinner and then dance? Eat. They're kind of like formal dances. They, they're mostly high school students. High school in the United States, okay? All right? Sometimes they don't have dinner. Sometimes they just have a dance. But they're like, we call them proms. Okay, we call prom? them prom dances. Prom. Mm-hmm. And the girls and the guys get all dressed up in fancy clothes and they go dancing and go to dinner. It's really fun. All right, let's go to the next page, okay? All right, go ahead and 
read this. Okay. Susan is also worried that she has gained five pounds and that her best friend might be mad at her. While Susan used to feel confident and excited by life's challenges, she has recently been feeling overwhelmed, out of control, and stressed out. Stressed. All right, good job. Stressed out. She feels overwhelmed. Do you know what that means? Well, I think she. It means she's very. She's very angry. She's angry, right? No. Overwhelmed means you have a lot to do. You have a lot to do, so you feel anxious to do. All right, overwhelmed, overwhelmed. I get overwhelmed sometimes when you have a lot to do. All right, it just means there is, we call it. There's a lot on your plate. There is a lot on your plate. Okay. What does that's what I call it? Out right. of control. Control means. Um, it means something you can't, something you can't avoid, something you cannot help. All right, it's not your fault. All right, it's not your fault. Okay. It is not your fault. All right. Out of control. When somebody's life is out of control, they might. It might be their fault, but usually it's something that happens, and they're just. Can't help it. All right. All right. Let's go to the next one. All right. Go ahead and read this for me, Janie. Okay. Susan's story is typical go. of the daily pressures teens face. Stress is the way our bodies and minds react to changes in our life. Since the teen years are a period of significant change, including physical. Emotional, oops, emotional, social, and academic changes. Many teens are under more stress than at any other time of life. Yes. All right. Do you understand what that's saying? When you become a teenager, stay little, Janie. Stay little, because <laughs> when you become a teenager, it gets really hard. Sometimes life gets really hard. Okay. All right. I don't think you'll have much problem, though. All right. Tell me what this says. Academic、Maybe. pressure and career decisions. Pressure to、mm -hmm. wear certain types of clothing or hair styles. Pressure to fit with fitting with peer groups and measure up to others. Adaptation to bodily changes, family and peer conflicts. Taking on too many activities at one time. All right, I'm gonna change this word. Okay, it's adaptation. Adapt, adaptation. All right. Adaptation. 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 Adapt. Adapt. Let's do this. Adaptation. All right. Adaptation. All、right. Okay, that just means your body is changing. You you have to adapt. Okay, to your body's changing. Okay. Okay. All right. Good job. Good job. You're doing great. Okay, go ahead and do this. Do you ever feel pressure to wear certain styles of clothes? Good job. Yes. Have you ever been pressured? You're an eight. Probably not. Do you ever feel like you need to wear a different type of clothes? No. Nope. All right. All right. Let's go to the next page. Okay. All right. Go ahead and read this. Increased physical illnesses, headaches, stomach aches, muscle pains. Chronic fatigue, shutting down, and withdrawal. You know you know Do you know what that means? Chronic fatigue. Chronic fatigue. I don't know. Means tired. 
He's very tired, tired of this. I'm tired. Oh, I'm tired. I just want to sleep. <sighs> like this? Yeah, that's what it means. Uh huh. Okay, shutting down means the same thing. Like, uh, you don't, you well, don't like, want to do anything. Well, like, uh, well, it's the same like always had. Kind of. You just don't want to be around people. Well, it, right, you withdraw. Well, it must right. be a little like. Oh, I'm just tired. I just want to sleep. <sighs> and withdraw uh -huh. from exactly. people and activities. Okay, what does this mean? Increasing danger or irritable gnashing out at others. Okay, it means like snapping. All right. I just snapping. Don't do that. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Your mom. Jenny, don't do that. Or. Sally, stop it! You just get very irritable, cranky, cranky. Do you know what cranky means? I don't know. Is your mom or dad ever cranky? It means kind of grouchy. Do you know what grouchy means? Grouchy? Well, it doesn't mean yeah. very. Doesn't mean very bad tempered. Mm, not so much very bad tempered, but you could have a temper. All right, let's read about this, okay? Our body's natural reaction to events in our lives that we perceive as overwhelming is the fight or flight response, which, produ which produces a faster heart rate. Shallow breathing, a sense of dread, and a desire to escape. However, you can teach right. yourself to see life changes as being controllable and can even change your body's reactions to such events. Okay, you know when you run, when you run really fast, your heart rate goes up? Yeah, and shallow breathing because you are having a hard time. And a sense of dread, like, oh, I don't want to go to school today. Oh, no, I school today. Oh, uh, does it mean? And a desire to escape. Does a uh, sense of you dread to... mean like, oh, today, tomorrow is school day. I don't want to go to school. I just want to be lazy. Yeah. I want to go to sleep. <sighs> it, it's exactly, that's what it means. That's exactly what it means. You just want to sleep and not do anything. And what does the desire to escape? You want to go on vacation, get away. You want to go away. You don't want to be there. All right? So you want to go, get away from it all, get a new environment. All right? Like you want to go to the beach or, or the mountains or somewhere. Get away. You want to get away. All right? All right, that's what that means. All right. Okay. Can you read this for me? Do you do something about your stress when you first feel it? Or do you wait until it feels like it is too much? What do you do? Tell me what you do. You cry. Yeah. And, and, and how does that get solved? When you cry, does it make you feel better? All right, good job, Janie. Teacher Judy is so impressed with you. Oh my goodness. And uh, a number a five star. Little... A number five star. And what? Number five star. Oh yeah. I... I won't forget your five star. Hold on, I'm gonna get something real quick, okay? I'm not gonna forget your five stars. Believe me, I wouldn't. I don't have a number right? five star. Give you... Will you give me a number five star? You will. Yeah. There you go. And uh, good job. And uh, what is this? Okay. Is this is this woman you? This is. My... No, well, I don't look like that, really, because my hair is shorter. But, yeah, it's me. I have glasses. I wear a red shirt for eye tutors. Is this a drawing yeah, teacher? Tiny. 
Is that a drawing of Tutor Jr? Junior? Is that a drawing? Uh, kind of. Sort of. <coughs> well, did you draw it? I did. I mean, I didn't draw this. I didn't draw this. But I put this all on there, and all of this on there, and this on there. I just, and that, I just took this here and put it on there, and then I drew that and took a picture of it. Do you like it? Yes. You do what? All right. Okay, so what does this say? Please leave your feedback for Teacher Judy. Thank you for coming. Great job yeah. today. Never stop learning. You. That's right. Never stop learning. Okay, Jamie? And you got 100% today. Yay for you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right, Janie. Teacher Judy is going to give you a big heart today. All right. Good job. All right. I will see you next time, okay? Okay.